Hello guys, this is DJ Dimaliwat and sa video na to pag-uusapan natin paano nga ba yung tamang hatian kapag nagnenegosyo ka or if you are getting investors, meron ka ng negosyo, kukuha ka ng mag invest sa'yo paano ba yung tamang hatian para masaya sila, masaya ka din diba? As you all know, I already been in business for the past 10 years I've been with business partners, ganun kadalasan yung mga negosyo ko I don't do it alone and I have experience kung paano ba yung tamang hatian and also we have experience and we've been continuously studying paano kapag merong mag invest dun sa business mo paano ba mapapasaya yung mga investors and paano ka rin hindi malulugi kung ikaw yung nagpapatakbo diba? and marami rin nagtatanong sa akin so naisip ko gawa na natin ng video para mas klaro, mas madaling i-explain and I'll be showing you a few slides dito sa video na to para meron tayong konting computation makikita mo mas klaro yan, mas maiintindihan natin, hindi yung parang naririnig mo lang. But before that, don't forget to subscribe in my YouTube channel and also like this video and turn on that notification bell so you will get updates whenever I come up with new videos. Okay, sige, pag-usapan na natin, di ba? So first and foremost, um, Pag-usapan natin kung meron ka negosyo and then kukuha ka ng investors, paano mo ba ititreat yon? Ano ba yung tamang percentage? Ano ba yung tamang hatian na ibibigay mo sa kanila? So the first question, my first question is actually, ano ba yung gusto mong ibigay? Guaranteed ba or not guaranteed? Is this something na yung negosyo mo tumatakbo na? Kailangan mo lang ng additional funds? So um, kumukuha ka ng investors para mas ma-speed up yung pag-expand ng business mo. Ganun ba yon? Usually pag ganun, we just give a guaranteed amount. Kunyari, 1% per month, 10% in a year. Ganyan, kung saan sila matutuwa. Maybe even something lower than that. No? Depende, like 6% a year, 0.5% a month. Depende kung medyo sure ka naman dun sa, sa negosyo mo talaga. And, or meron kang pera, gusto mo lang i-accommodate sila. But of course, the higher your need with money, sometimes nagpinataasan mo yung, yung guaranteed amount mo sa kanila, di ba? Um, pero paano naman kung nyari magtatayo ka pa lang ng sarili mong negosyo, ikaw yung magpapatakbo, and then may gustong bumakas sa'yo, di ba? May gustong mag-join mag sa business mo as investors. Uh, so, most likely pag ganito, uh, ibibigay mo syempre non-guaranteed. Di ba? You, can, you cannot guarantee pa yung kikitain ng negosyo kasi nagkisimula pa lang. So, paano yun? Eh, ikaw nagpapatakbo sila, pera lang nila yung nandun. Of course, although pera yun, hard-earned money yun. Paano mo mapaalagaan? So, sasagutin natin yan dito sa video na yan. So, first and foremost, if you have a business partnership, whenever you're entering a business partnership, make sure that you have an agreement uh, between both parties or all parties involved about the division of profit. Yun nga, paano ahatiin. And then, of course, ano yung rules ng bawat isa? Investor lang ba ako? Wala ba akong gagawin? Maghihintay na lang ako ng kita? Or may gagawin ako? ba? Kasi, Important siyang question na yan to answer with, with this next uh, thing that I want to talk about which is ano ba yung role at paano kikita yung industrial partner or partners and then the investors or investor kung isa lang siya. So pag-usapan natin yung industrial partners. Industrial partner, uh, these are persons or if mag ka lang, person who will run the business and operate the business. Siya yung talagang tatao doon sa negosyo. Diba? So parang kanya yung negosyo pero hindi niya pera lahat. Ganun si industrial partner. Siya yung merong skill or siya yung merong time or siya yung willing tumao doon. How about investors? Investors naman, uh, they will cash out the investment. Diba? Sila naman, kailangan ng pera para magtayo ng negosyo. Let's say yung trucking business nga or let's say a laundry business. Uh, whatever business that is na kailangan ng malaking puhunan, hindi mo kayang i-fund. So he will be needing investors. Diba? So, um, the question is, ikaw ba as an industrial partner, meron ka bang cash out? Kasi may mga industrial partners na walang ilalabas, talent lang nila, so may tiwala talaga sa kanilang investors nila, gustong tumaya dun sa industrial partner, kunyari ikaw yun. Meron namang mga industrial partner na naglalabas sila ng pera, meaning gusto talaga nila magnegosyo, kaya lang kulang yung pera nila, they need more money. And probably may mga kaibigan, madalas yan, may mga kaibigan, Let's say, mga OFWs, magtutulong-tulong Or may mga ka, 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 ka mag anak or kaibigan abroad Na gusto rin mag-invest, bumaka sa negosyo niya diba? So these are investors as well Pero si industrial partner, investor din siya 
Oh, that's why nakalagay rito oh, sa table na to, may include the industrial partner or partners. ba? Diba? Kasi ganoon din sa amin, no? Like, we have that experience. Um, kailangan namin ng mas malaking negosyo. Kunyari, magkatayo kami ng bahay. Um, kailangan namin ng mas malaking pondo. But hindi namin kayang ilabas. No? So, maglalabas din kami. So, investor din kami. O, investor din ako. Pero I need more investors for that. So, paano yung hatian dyan? This can really be um, kung if you're the industrial partner, ikaw yung kikilos at magkatrabaho, this is just, wala actually talagang fixed amount. Depende talaga siya sa usapan. Pero just as a suggestion, this can be anywhere around 5% to 40% of the potential profit. Now, usually, 5% lang dun sa mga industrial partner na talagang hindi naman sila maglalabas ng pera. Talagang trabaho lang nila. Pero syempre, dapat may sweldo ka pag ganun. Meron naman mga industrial partners na hindi nila kailangan ng sweldo kasi talaga negosyante na sila. No, kung negosyante ka na, alam mo, gusto mong kumita pero naghanap ka lang ng more partners na investors lang, ikaw pa rin yung magkatrabaho. Doon, pwedeng malaki yung partnership mo. Na yung, yung part ng kita mo, like 40%. Then, doon sa investment side, um, kailangan mo pa rin, pwede ka pa rin meron doon. So, ibig sabihin, bukod yung kita mo as an industrial partner, kunyari 40% ka doon, tapos doon sa 60% na investors, let's say, naglabas kayo ng 1 million, nag-20% sa'yo doon, like 200,000, di ba? So, 20% ka nung kikitain nung investment side. So, kunyari, 40-60, example lang, 40% industrial partner, kung ikaw lahat yun, nag-agree sila, sa'yo yung buong 40%, kasi dugot pawis at time mo yun nandun doon. And then, dun sa 60%, dahil 20% ang nilabas mo, may 20% ka pa dun. Diba? To make things more clear, uh, gawa tayo ng konting example. So, dito sa example na to, um, 30-70 kunyari yung distribution. So, for example, no, naglabas kayo ng pera, yun nga, 1 million, 20% sa'yo. Um, so, 200,000, nilabas mo, 800,000 nilabas sa mga partners mo. Pero nag-agree kayo, let's say, 30-70. 30% sa industrial partner, kunyari ikaw yon, 70% sa mga investors, pwedeng kasama ka doon or hindi. Depende kung sino yung naglabas ng pera. So, 30% ng, let's say, kumita yung negosyo this month, 100,000. So, kumita yung negosyo, pinag-decide kayo, hati-hati, ano yung 100,000. Example lang, just for illustration purposes. So, 30,000 nun, kasi 30% ng 100,000 is, um, you know, yun yung mapupunta sa industrial partner. So, kita yun ng industrial partner. Now, the 70%, kasi 30-70 kayo, 70% goes to the investors, yung mga naglabas ng 1 million. ba? Yung total na 1 million. So, ahatiin yun accordingly sa mga investors. ba? So, kunyari, ako 50% ako, naglabas doon, so 500,000. 50% ng 70,000, yun yung kita ko, so 35,000. Kasi malaki yung perang nilabas ko. Kung ako yung buong naglabas doon, kasi may mga ganong example, no? May mga ganong ako kakilala, dalawa silang partner, isang industrial, isang investor. Yung investor, isa lang siya sa lahat maglalabas ng pera. Baka makakita ka ng ganun or baka may ganun kang partner. Kung siya lahat maglalabas ng pera, kanya yung buong 70%. Kung may nilabas ka doon, may part ka dapat doon. Kunyari, nag 50-50 kayo. So, 35%, 35,000 sa kanya, 35,000 sa iyo, bukod pa doon sa 30,000. So, balik tayo ng kori doon sa example. So, kung, um, kung ang invested share mo, if you have invested 20%, 20 200,000 sa so 1 million, um, so you get another 20% dun sa kita ng investors So kung kita ng investors will be 70,000 20% nun is 14,000 ba? So kumita ka ng 14,000 doon sa 70,000 Which is part ng investors Kung ito total mo yung share mo um, Your share as an industrial partner is 30,000 Tapos kumita ka pa ng 14,000 as an investor Doon sa mismong business din na yun. So, your total share is 44,000. Yun yung total na kinita mo as an industrial partner na investor din. So, I hope um, I hope this this simple illustration is clear and I hope nakatulong. Kung meron kang question, type mo lang below. Maybe I will create another video if medyo mahaba yung explanation. Um, but if there's anything about business partnership then or whatever questions that you have about business if I can answer, I will I'll try to answer as well through the comments or through a video like this. Uh, this this video nanganak lang to because one of the clients, one of the people who are inquiring in our tracking business, ganto yung setup niya. So for me to best explain, ito yung magandang mangyari. Now, pag-usapan niyo maigi paano yung hatian ng profit sa simula pa lang, 
ano yung role. And then dapat both the roles, investors, and the people who will operate, the industrial partners, will have a certain chunk. Walang perfect na walang one rule ng hatian. Kailangan yung pag-usapan and wherever you agree, maganda you put it into writing. Alright, so if you like this video, don't forget to again subscribe in my YouTube channel and turn on that notification bell to get updates for more videos like this. So with that, thank you very much. This is DJ Dimaliwat. See you again soon.